Hi, this is part one of my physical media collection video. It's a quick overview of what I have. This is the top shelf. Some uh, media books up there. Uh, good stuff. And this is the, the first, uh, the first of the collection. Start starting with numbers. I've got Blu-rays, steelbooks, some DVDs all together. Just do a slow pan over them to get uh, give you guys a chance to take to look at the uh, spines and whatnot. This is my '88 films collection. Slip covers. Slip covers only. Uh, the rest of the titles are spread out among the uh, population there. I'm glad they released Macabre. Uh, this was an upgrade was sorely needed. So they did a good job on that. Looks great. And I, and I love these slips. These are uh, soft touch slips. They feel real, real nice. Very soft and velvety. This is one of my favorite. 88 uh, films. This is uh, White Slave, a.k.a. Amazonia, the Catherine Miles story. Uh, and I've got a couple of versions of Anthropophagus. This is the latest one. Cool slip. Eyeball, which sold out pretty quickly. And for good reason. It's a great release. Looks great. Dead Heat. I'm, um, uh, you know, Kind of hoping that this gets a U.S. release. Even though I think this is region free. No, it's region B. It's region B. Never mind. But, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't mind a U.S. counterpart. All right. And Green Inferno. Not the best movie around, but I thought it was okay. It was fun. Of course, Enigma. I skipped the Severin version of this. I don't need two versions of that movie, but I did need two versions of Massacre in Dinosaur Valley, but I love that artwork. See that? Very nice. Idiot does good work. And of course, Absurd, which I also double-dipped for the Severn version. Okay, that's the first shelf. Uh, we've got some more 88 films. Stuff. Right. Lots of imports. I had to import this from Germany. Nice media book. Or rather, a uh, digit book. This is the Aquaman. Um, Lenti. Look at that. It's really good. And continuing on, doing a slow pan. All right. Audrey Rose, NSM. Okay, so continuing. I did uh, a, a version of this video earlier, which I had to take down because it was the wrong ratio. Um, I'm still a newbie when it comes to shooting video on a cell on on my cell phone. I've got my, an alien collection. This is Covenant, Alien Covenant. And of course, well, this is, I think this is from Film Arena, but look at that. That's really nice. Very sleek. And Alien vs. Predator. Not a bad movie. I enjoyed it. Atomic Blonde. Kimchi DVD. All right. 
some Avengers Steelbooks, Age of Ultron, this is the first Avengers, and I've got the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook set, all four films in 4K, so yeah, alright, so back there there's Alita, Annihilation, Ad Astra, a French Steelbook of After Earth. Very nice. Good movie. Blob. Media book version. The Boogans. One of my favorite releases. And one of my favorite horror films of all time. Bad Dreams. This might be um, become a, a collector's item. Uh, I don't think Fox is going to be licensing any more of it, uh, movies to anybody. So, yeah. Blair Witch Project. Media book, which also contains a copy of the remake, which I, I enjoyed. Blue is the warmest color. Uh, kimchi video, uh, kimchi DVD edition. All right, so here we go. All right. Got my Anchor Bay Bad Taste. Which has yet to be upgraded to the to Blu-ray. I wonder why. They say it's on the way, but it's, they've been saying that for years. Back there, the bucket of blood. The banker. My Batman. Another Best Buy exclusive steelbook set. You know, 4K editions of the films. I like the artwork on these. Um, they kind of they kind of reproduce the tongue in cheek nature of the uh, films. Batman versus Superman, Black Mass. This is an import. Uh, Boys in the Hood from Everything Blue. These guys do great stuff. Sadly, I missed out on Spartacus. Uh, but I have no plans on getting uh, Hellboy 2. Ben-Hur. Which I got out of this set. You know, it didn't fit on the shelves, so... Back to the Future, of course, which is being reissued on 4K, and I simply cannot wait to get that set. I've got it pre-ordered already from uh, Target. All right, so continuing on. Here is a media book edition of The Beyond and the uh, Ebon packaging. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. I have several shrines in my collection. Blade Runner is one of them. This is 2049. The 82 version in 4K. And 2049 again. And of course the Maniac set. Alright, so... Bad Boys 1 and 2. I picked up a copy of the Steelbook because it was so awesome. Best Buy exclusive. Bronx Tale, which is an import. And my favorite cannibal flicks. Two of them. Cannibal Holocaust and Ferrex. They're both um, intense and crazy. <laughs> But I love them. Alright. And Battlestar Galactica. Oh yeah. Got this version of Cube and the um with a lenticular hang on. Lenticular uh right? slip there. This is from South Korea. I believe it's uh it might it might be kimchi. Uh, they have several labels. 
Got a City of God, also from South Korea. This is just a uh, keep case version. What else? Uh, Communion. This is uh, from Italy. Good movie. Still MIA in the U.S. Also MIA is Violent City. This is an Italian Blu-ray. German Steelbook of Capricorn 1. The awesome Second Sight version of The Changeling. Right. And Eureka. Eureka's version of Cujo. And this Steelbook. I'm not big into animation, but I picked this up because it was just so... So good, good looking. Another an import from South Korea, Chaplin. This is just a keep case, right? German Steelbook of Cloud Atlas. Great movie. I've seen this movie about six times already. Hmm. Cat in the Brain. Grindhouse and two of my favorite 80s horror thrillers, curtains. And Kathy's Curse. Good stuff. Good stuff. Looks good in a black case. Continuing on. Oh, I've got this uh, Best Buy version of Cat's Eye. Down here, we've got Class of 84 from 101 Films. Right. Company of Wolves. Steelbook. Collateral is being reissued on 4K, I believe, in December this year. A couple versions of um, Captain America. This is my favorite. Civil War. It's still sealed. Commando. Alright, there you go. Commando. Steelbook. Imported and cut a very good Australian slasher flick. And the bottom shelf here another version of Cat's Eye, there, it's a media book version. Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, a UK steelbook, great anthology, and another of my favorite horror movies, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Probably VCI's best release ever. Right. Doomsday, that's a DVD packaging, but uh, there's a Blu-ray in there. Dread, awesome movie. Awesome steelbook. Okay. Devil Dog Hound of Hell. That's a uh, Blu ray in there. Hopefully, uh, someone does a, um, a reissue. Up here on my second shelf, I've got a slasher and horror movie shrine. These are among my favorites of all time. I'm a big horror guy. And I love to see these. I loved seeing these. Like I, I wish I had the space to, 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 sh to, dis to display more of my movies like that. You know, like with the artwork facing out. Twelve Monkeys, Alice Sweet Alice, American Werewolf in London, Andromeda Strain. I'm looking forward to Silent Running. All right. This is my Arrow. Obviously, my Arrow collection. Several versions of Beyond. This is one of them. Right, so lots of good stuff here. Lots of good slashers. There's Asian cinema. 
There's 80s horror. Transfer on this is fantastic. This is a great release. Right, I own both the Arrow version and Shout versions of Candyman. Same thing with Carrie. Right? Two versions of Creep Show. And another of my favorites, Dead End Driving. Brian Trenchard Smith. Great movie. This was a pleasant supply, uh, surprise, uh, Deadly Manor. Great little late 80s slasher. And of course, the elusive Django. And I also own the Steelbook version. Right there. Don't Torture a Duckling got uh, the Arrow version. And I also own this thing. So, Donnie Darko, Crimson Peak. And I picked up standalones of uh, Hellraiser 1 and 2. Okay, Hells of Eyes, House Quadrilogy. Lots of good stuff, lots of good uh, jolly. Inferno needs a re release. Thank you very much. Looking forward to Shout's remaster of Motel Hell. Okay. And Phantasm said, City of the Walking Dead. This is Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare City. But um, I love this artwork. And this is how I saw the film in, in, the, th in the theater in the U.S. back in 83. It was called City of the Walking Dead. I had a great time watching that theatrically. Phantasm pieces. I also have the uh, Grindhouse version. Pitch Black 4K, which looks fantastic. Prey. I got rid of the uh, slip. I didn't like it. This is uh, much better. Right. Got both versions of... Uh, Robocop got the steelbook and the uh, chipboard. Great, 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 great. All right, so continuing there. Rumor has it that Kino is uh, might be do uh, might be, be be redoing Runaway Train. Hopefully, it's true. The Slayer. I'm so glad that Arrow did this. I saw this for the first time via a bootleg and uh, I fell in love with it but the quality was uh, you know crap so Arrow came to the rescue once again All right Tsukumoto the stuff the thing torso lots of good stuff vamp Waterworld man what a great release looks it looks fantastic, and that fabled, the fabled uh, Ulysses cut is included. Thank goodness. Right, right down here, more Arrow stuff. Reaching the end of my Arrow collection, and now we have, we're continuing on to the regular stuff. Another slasher movie that I discovered late and loved. All right, and this is another import from South Korea, The Descent. It's just an amory. And I got my Demon Steel books. Lots of um, Severin Olive films, 88 films. Right. Drive over media. It's a fantastic steel book. Really nice looking. And the French. Steel. 
And another copy of the uh, Nova Media, another version. It's a lenticular. Right? So, I've got this here as a placeholder. Um, apparently, Blue Underground has found the negative. Thank goodness. And they're working on it. Hopefully for January. I, I think I heard January as a street date. Deadly Friend, a gray market release from Spain. And another version of De La Morte, De La More. Love this film. Alright, and the bottom shelf. Death Wish, Media Books, and The Evil That Men Do, which looks great. All right, continuing on. This is the third shelf. I got the Ginger Snaps trilogy, and the aforementioned on Torture Ducking, and one of my favorite horror movies of all time, Superstition in the Black Case, Event Horizon, and my Criterion Collection. There. Lots of good stuff here. Lots of art house uh, and mainstream cinema from the U.S. and overseas. Some DVDs sprinkled in, which I have not had the, the desire to upgrade. Uh, in some cases, the DVD I'm just happy with. I don't need to upgrade everything. shelf Zatoichi set and that fantastic film great little movie and this is my Code Red lineup lots of Code Red goodness That's a that's a signed copy of One Dark Night in there. Signed by several cast members, including Tom McLaughlin, the director. Savage Streets, I love that movie. Soul Survivor, The Strangeness, Sweet Sixteen, all fun movies All right at the end of the, the end of the code reds and continuing on to the regular stuff elephant man et in 4k right. electric dreams apparently this will never see the, the light of day in the US but Grab that from the UK. Let's get from New York, Evil Dead. This is an old Anchor Bay release. It's great. I kept it. Yeah, it looks because I love the, uh, the artwork on it. It's really good. And continuing there. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind from... Kimchi, one of Kimchi's uh, imp imprints. I also have a lenticular version of that right there. Right. And Exodus, nice, decent flick. 
Ex Machina. Right. Steelbook. Eastern Promises. Some good stuff. A lot of good stuff. And continuing there. This is a quadrilogy, uh, a trilogy steelbook set, and we've got a couple versions of fifth, the fifth element. That's one of them. And of course, one of my favorite steelbooks of all time, Real Beauty. There, and the bottom shelf. Fright Night Part 2, Flight of the Phoenix from Eureka, Fright Night uh, one, and, 1 and 2, actually 1, and 2 versions of Part 2. Um, I'm going to move on here for a bit because of the, I'm running low on the battery, um, but here we go, this is shelf 4. This is the 1992 flick. Another gray market release from uh, Spain. The gray, another import from South Korea. Keep case version. All right. And I've got a bit of a Lucio Fucci shrine, another shrine. Some some of his my favorite films. That's Manhattan Baby, there at the end, with the alternate title, Evil, Eye of the Evil Dead. Right. Hateful Eight. <clears throat> the Hitcher. Media Book. Indicator Powerhouse Collection. That's of Kino. Sorry about the dust back there. And more Kino stuff. Right. Lots of Kino goodness. All right. And the video is going to end here because part two sort of picks up from this spot. Uh, so I'd like to say a thank you for watching. Please comment down below if you um, need to know something or want to know something. And I appreciate any and all comments, good or bad, uh, that you guys may have. All right, so... Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views. And 
I think this is this is where I'm, I left off the last time. So I'm good for now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video. Take care.